each of the queens has the opportunity to tell their story, which is at the same time both uh, wickedly funny and, uh, and full of insight into the plight of queens of that time. That although they were queens, their lives were anything but uh, easy. I'm Catherine of Aragon. To Jane Seymour. Anna of Cleves, the German queen. Catherine Howard. Catherine Parr. Anne Boleyn. I just really like her. She's, she's a feisty lady. I sort of fell into the role, and then once I established that I was Jane Seymour, that was all I studied. I was attracted to Anne because well, first, she's a she's a pretty well known character um, that I think gets vilified a lot. Like she is, she's a very strong character that, much like a couple of the other queens, is kind of left alone. She's the one who survived. Um, King Henry died while she was the queen, and people kind of think of her as boring or that her story isn't exciting because she wasn't beheaded. I picked her because. I resonated with her the most of all of the queens. She feels like an outsider. She's the youngest queen, and she has she has a story that isn't told very often. She's not gonna, you know, even though the queen, the uh, the king wouldn't let her see her daughter, for example, uh, she still held on to her beliefs, and that's cool. And I just formed a bond with that character, and I love her because she is the one that produced the son, and she's the true queen. For being honest. So for me it was an interesting way to, to show a side of a strong, very strong woman um, without playing her as a villain. She actually raised Queen Elizabeth and, and um, Queen Mary and King Edward, um, so she was a mother figure to them and she really got Henry through the last few years of his life, um, survived and then went on to marry her true love. She. Um, She's awkward, and the way that Foresight uh, devised this piece, she's even more awkward. She's All of these characters are sort of exaggerations. In a lot of ways, it's similar to Anne Boleyn, who, because of her daughter, Elizabeth I, is just regarded as more historically important. But Catherine also has a really interesting and very tragic story. So it's, again, one of those stories that like people don't hear that they should and should be told again. This all may sound pretty dark, but the way that this production works is it is very funny. And in that humor, the deep suffering that they all experienced comes through. Uh, and it's the beauty of this production, that you can have both comedy and tragic situations presented in equal depth. Uh, at the same time. Plus, the women in the company are immensely talented, so this is a great uh, opportunity for them to show their skills as, as comic actresses.